in Rosewood off of Waterloo and Pennsylvania Avenue. And this is a house that's listed at 625,000. It is just over 3,000 square feet. It has five bedrooms and three baths, plus an office, plus a formal dining room. So as you walk up here, you can see a nice big porch right up front. And then kind of looking out, you've got um, just really pretty houses that you can see across from you. And then you come and you're met by this door with some frosted glass. And when you come in, you have just a little foyer here with a pretty light fixture and tall ceilings. But would be kind of good to kind of have that separation from when you walk in. And then immediately to the left, you have a formal dining room. So it's got big pretty windows up front to let in a lot of natural light. Pretty light fixture at the top. This could be a formal dining room, but you could also kind of have it be like a little living room or even an office. And then from here, you actually will, can walk through into the kitchen. This kitchen has really pretty countertops and pretty cabinet color. It's also got just a nice touch of open shelving and glass shelving, not too much to where it's not practical, but just enough to look stylish. And then also this backsplash is really pretty as well. Kind of has that textured herringbone pattern. And then the island of the kitchen actually has a different color. It's that wood stain, which I think is just a nice contrast from the cabinets up there. It matches the floating shelves. You got storage under the island. Really just pretty. And this black, you'll see this kind of black accent throughout the rest of the home, but they do a great job of kind of tying it in with the light fixtures, with tile throughout different parts of the home. And then from here, you have an eat-in kitchen. So this is a very large size. If you didn't want to have a formal dining room plus an eat-in kitchen, you could definitely make this your dining room. It could fit a really large table in here. With a big window looking out to the back. And then our back porch, which we'll go ahead and just kind of peek out there because you have a very large back patio. You also have a gas hookup so you can hook your grill directly to the gas, but a really nice size patio. This house is on three fourths of an acre. So most of this backyard space here that you see up into that fence is going to be yours. You've also got that little tree here. This house is on well and septic as well. And then from here, you come back into the little eat-in kitchen. And before we go look at the master bedroom, I actually wanna come down this hallway and show you the extra bedrooms. You have a little pantry here, a nice walk-in pantry with lots of storage. You've got a drop zone here for backpacks. You could put some cute little bins up here and there, and then definitely looks really cute. And then here's your laundry room with this really pretty tile. Comes right off of the garage, but you've got some cabinets right above where your washer and dryer will go. And here we have our garage. So a three car garage with windows to let in the natural light, access to the attic. So a nice size garage here. Okay, so out of there, we come back through the little drop zone area. And then here's your hallway of bedrooms. So you actually have two bedrooms, or excuse me, you actually have two bathrooms over here. Um, so this first bedroom, you come it's right to the left, a very nice size bedroom with a ceiling fan and a very long closet here. So this would be bedroom number one over on this side of the house. Right to the left here, you have another bedroom, which is also a really good size also has a ceiling fan and a very similar kind of layout for the closet. And then in theory, those two bedrooms would have this bathroom to share, which I love this bathroom. I love the tile and the way they kind of incorporate that black look back into this part of the house. You've got the cabinets here, kind of with that natural wood look. One sink, storage above the toilet. And then again, that really pretty black tile in here. 
So then you have the two bedrooms and bathroom here, but then right here you actually have two more bedrooms that share a Jack and Jill. So go ahead and walk in this one, really nice space. I like the layout of this one. It's really easy to kind of put a bed. You can see where it would go. And this one has a really nice size closet, big walk-in closet, goes all the way back there. And then in here you have your Jack and Jill. So they're separated. They each have their own sink and mirror and then kind of some privacy and then into the shower and toilet. You've got some storage above this toilet and then your other sink. So each room has its own sink and then the separation from the shower and toilet. And then this is your other bedroom. Again, it has kind of that obvious where you put the bed, it's got the pretty window, and then another really large closet, basically identical to the other room. So when we leave here, we go back into the hallway, and these floors are carpet and then the wood look tile, so very durable. Come back out of this hallway. And then I'm actually gonna walk us back through the kitchen and through the dining room. That way I can show you what the living room looks like as you come through the front. So when you come through the front door, you immediately see this living room as you enter. So a pretty chandelier and a beam at the top, really large windows to let in a lot of natural light. You look into the kitchen and then you've got this really large living room. The vaulted ceilings. And then you have this little office right off of it. It's not huge, but I think it's a really nice size just for a desk, if you work from home, or even just you know to pay bills, keep track of that sort of thing. You could do a desk here with some shelves on the side. So kind of just a nice addition to have this little office. Then from there, we're gonna come to the master, which right off the master, you actually have this closet a very nice size just kind of storage closet to keep jackets and vacuums and all that sort of thing and then into the master so really big windows again kind of an obvious place to put the bed the ceiling with the different lights and then from here you actually have a little bit of carpeted area where you have your first closet so this is not the only closet but this is one of them so really good storage really good size closet in here it's got the drawers built in and then into the master bath so you can see the tub directly ahead and then you've got two separate vanities so you've got one over here and then you've got one over here I would say this one over here is slightly larger. It's kind of got the extra set of drawers, but then you also have another closet over here. So another really good size closet with also those built-in drawers. You've got your toilet room right here. And then your shower with the glass door. Nice pretty window to let in the natural light and a very spacious shower. Also got this little built-in inlet here. So very nice size shower overall, really nice size bathroom. And then you come back in here, you pass the closet and then you're back into the master. And then back here into the living room that looks straight into the kitchen. So overall, this house is very beautiful, very spacious. I mean, it's got the pretty details from the crown molding. All the colors match so, so well, how they incorporate the green and the black and just kind of show that throughout the house. You can tell there was really a lot of intentionality behind the color choice, behind the finishes of this home. Really tall baseboards that give it that more elegant and modern look. Again, this house is listed at 625,000 in Edmond, Oklahoma. It is on three-fourths of an acre. If you are looking at buying or selling, I would love to be able to help you in that purchase. Please feel free to give me a call or text, and I would love to start working together. Hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed being able to just see what is out there in 625,000 in Edmond, Oklahoma, and I will catch you in my next video.